I'll be showing you how to work the sleeves on your front panels. So right here I have my, we're gonna do, let's say this one is my left front panel. So you have to remember when you're thinking about left, it, how it's gonna be when it's on you. So if I picked it up and put it on myself and put it on the front, of myself, my sleeve is going to be coming out this way to the right here, but it's actually my left. So that's just kind of how you need to think about how the sleeves are working. So when I put it on, this is my right side, my left sleeve is going to be working out here to the right. So we're going to do this almost identical to how we worked the back, except we're just working on the one side now. So this is my working yarn. And just like we did on the back, we're gonna chain out 41. Okay, so I've worked out 41 chains and now we'll work single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in the next chain we'll chain three we'll skip three one two three and we'll work a double crochet in the next whoops double crochet in the next chain three and a double crochet in the same chain. Chain three, skip three chains, one, two, see here, one, two, three, and then we'll work a single crochet in each of the next three chains. So we're just repeating this pattern again along our chain. It's really just a review of what we've already done with the back. So I'm gonna work that across and I'll meet you when we get to this section here. Okay, so I'm coming to the end of my chain. You should have four chains remaining. I've already chained three. And in that last chain, we're going to do a single crochet And then you'll single crochet into the first two double crochets. And now we'll work the pattern across here. So we'll chain three. And in the third chain of our chain five, we'll work double chain three and a double in the same chain. We'll chain three, skip two doubles, and then work a single crochet in the next three. And we're repeating this all the way along. So I'm gonna finish that up and I'll meet you when we get to the end. Okay, so we're coming to the end and we should be ending here with our two single crochet. And now what you'll do is you'll work rows two through six and you're gonna do that three times so that we have 
approximately 9.75 inches. So the front needs to equal what we did as well with the back. So now this is my right side. So my right side is facing. And I'm gonna be working on my right front panel. And just like our left front panel, if you put it on to your right side, you can tell what side of the panel you need to work out for your sleeve. So for the right side, we're, we need to work out to the left side of the panel. So what we need to do is just like when we worked on our back panel, we need to join on to set up the row for the sleeve. So we're just gonna join into the corner of our work. And then we're going to chain out 40 chains. And once you've worked up your 40 chains, we'll then fasten off. So I've worked up my 40 chains, so we're just gonna fasten that off. Pull that through. So I'm just joining back onto my working yarn. Chain one and turn. We're gonna work one single crochet in the first and in the next double crochet stitch. We'll chain three We'll work a double in the third chain. Chain three. And a double in the same chain. Whoops. It works twisting up there. Chain three. Skip two doubles and work a single crochet in each of the next three. So we're going to repeat our pattern, chain three, all the way across. And I'll meet you when we get to that chain. Okay, so I've already chained three and I'm coming to that last part shell. So we skip two double crochet. We work a single crochet in the last two doubles. And then we're working a single crochet in the first chain of our chain 40. So this is just like what we did when we were working on the back. And you can always get that end weaved in to tighten that up. So now we'll chain three, skip three chains, one, two, three, and in the next, we'll do a double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, Skip three chains, one, two, three, and then work a single crochet in each of the next three. So we're gonna just keep working in our pattern all the way along and I'll meet you at the end of the chain. And when you get to the end of your chain, you should have five chains, one, two, three, four, five. So if you don't have five, then you wanna go back and double check your work. So skip three and we're ending, whoops, I need to chain three still. So skip three and then do a single crochet in the last two chains. And there we go. So now we're working this front panel with the sleeve coming out. So again, complete working your stitch pattern and then I'll meet you up again for our next step. 
So now we're moving on to row two. And we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to work one single crochet in the first stitch. Then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And now in our chain three space here, this is like a V and we've made a space, we're going to do seven double crochet. Okay, so I worked through that fairly quickly, so there's seven double crochet in there. Now we'll chain three, and we're gonna work a single crochet in the single crochet that's in the center. So we skip the first one, work a single crochet in the next. Oops. And then we chain three. Now in our next chain three space, we're gonna work seven double crochet again. Okay, so now we're finishing up and we're gonna chain three and in the last single crochet, we're going to do a single crochet. Okay, and now we're going to chain six and we're going to turn. So now what we're going to do is work single crochets in every DC of our shell. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now we're gonna chain five and we'll work single crochets across the next shell. So seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And to finish off here, we're gonna chain two and we're gonna work a treble crochet in that final single crochet. So yarn over twice, going through the single crochet. So now this is how it's looking. So now for row four, we're gonna chain four and we're gonna turn. And now we'll work a double crochet in that same space. So we've made a little V here. Now we'll chain three. And we're working only three single crochets through the center. So we're skipping the first two singles, working three, one, two, three, and then you should have two singles on the other side that we're skipping. Now we're going to chain three. And then we want to make another V here. And we're going to do it in the center of the chain five. So we need to skip over two of the chains. And in the third chain, we're going to work a double crochet. So push that through the chain. 
double crochet, chain three, one, two, three. Then going back into that same chain, we're working a double crochet. So this is setting up that next shell that's going to be in the center of these shells. Then we chain three and we're working three single crochet. So we're skipping two singles. And in the next three singles, we'll work a single in each. We'll chain three. And let me just look at the pattern we're doing. So in this big chain space here, we're doing a V. So we're working a double, chain one and a double. So these V's on the ends, but they only have one chain in them as opposed to three that's in the center. And now for row five, we'll chain three. And we're gonna do a half shell in this space. So we're gonna work three double crochet and our chain three is counting as one of those doubles. Okay, so there's our half shell made. We're gonna chain three. And in the center of our three single crochets, we do one single crochet. One, two, three, we chain three again, and now we're doing our full seven DC shell in between here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll chain three, one, two, three, and we do our single crochet down here in the center of our three singles. Chain three, and we're doing a half shell, so we're gonna do four double crochet in that final V stitch. So one, two, three, Okay, and now we'll chain one and turn on to row six, and we're back to doing our singles on top of the shells. So we'll work a single crochet in the first four stitches here. And then we're gonna chain five to get over to the next shell. So one, two, three, four, five. Skip over and work a single crochet in each of those double crochets. So a total of seven. And chain five to get over to the next one, two, three, four, five. And single crochets. So we have three doubles here. One, two, three, and then we have that chain three and we'll do a single crochet right into that. So we have four. So four on this side, four on this side, it's all even. And now we have one more row we're gonna do in our repeat. So we're gonna do row seven now. So chain one, turn. We're gonna work a single crochet in the first and the second. And then we're gonna chain three And now we need to set up our shells again. So we're doing them in the chain fives. So one, two, three, four, five. So there's the third chain right here that we're doing our double. Chain three, one, two, three. Double. 
our double. One, two, three. And then we're skipping over two single crochets and we're doing three singles. And then one, two, three. And in the third chain of the chain five, so one, two, three, one, two, three. we're doing a double. chain three and a double chain three and then we end the same as we start with a single crochet in the last two 